play. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll we'll see. see about that. All right. Yeah, cloud spotters in the UK and Ireland getting terrific views of where, rare nacreous clouds, nacreous clouds over the first few days of February. Let's talk about our cloud of the month with Gabber Peter Penny, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society from Somerset, England. Thanks for joining us this morning, Gavin. And where are these nacreous clouds most commonly spotted? Well, you normally wouldn't see them as far south as England and certainly the middle of England where they've been spotted recently because they are also known as polar stratospheric clouds all right which means they form around the poles the most spotted around the poles and they're, they're very high up much higher than normal clouds up within the stratosphere that's 10 to 15 miles up and they really have such a distinctive look, that iridescence, that mother of pearl look. What are the conditions that make that form? Well, they are also known as mother of pearl clouds because of these beautiful pearlescent pastel colors. Some people have got mistaken, were mistaking them for the northern lights because of these oh. colors and they weren't used to seeing these in the sky. Those colors are caused by diffraction. It's the sunlight being bent slightly as it passes around the tiny ice crystals of these high clouds. It, it, the different wavelengths are bent by different amounts and so they get separated out and you see bands of colors of pinks and blues and yellows. So with, with uh, you seeing them in England now, so I'm assuming weather has a big play in, in terms of where you could actually see these types of clouds. Sure, and it's crucially the temperature up in the stratosphere, this lower part of the stratosphere where these clouds form. Now, normally it's not cold enough over the middle of Britain, where, uh, north of the, so Scotland, up at the top you can sometimes see them, but generally the rest of Britain you don't get them. And that's because temperatures up in the stratosphere need to be like maybe minus 120 Fahrenheit, something like that, for it to be cold enough, because the stratosphere is very, very dry, Water doesn't easily get up there, and so it needs to be very cold for the ice crystals to form with a little moisture that's there. And it just so happens that over the last few day, few weeks, this vortex we have around the pole, we've got one around the North Pole, one around the South Pole of cold air, it, it meanders a bit, like the jet stream, and it has meandered down, and you've had a patch of cold Arctic air over Britain, but high up. It's not like we've been filling it down the ground. It's high up, and that's what's caused the ice crystals to form and these beautiful clouds to appear. That is fascinating. So I'm guessing winter's the time, winter's the season, because you do need it that cold. That's right, you do. You need it to be cold, so these clouds are only observed in the winter, most commonly nearer the Arctic, and... There are other high clouds that are formed in the summer, but they're even higher up, and that's because it all depends on the layer of the atmosphere, where, you know, when it's at its coldest. And so there's, there are higher layers of the atmosphere which are at their coldest in the summer, weirdly, but this part, as you'd expect, is in the winter. So they are observed in the winter. Polar stratospheric, sorry, polar stratospheric clouds, yeah, nacreous clouds or mother of pearl. They're beautiful, one of the most beautiful and rarest of the, of the formations. And we're seeing all these beautiful photos of them. Uh, yeah. Gavin prater Penny, thank you but, so much. Yeah, oh, let's oh, not lose them yet. Let's go oh, off okay. script real quick, uh, Gavin. We have a thing yeah. called the Super Bowl going on today. We just found <laughs> out your mom's from New York. You haven't lived in the States, though. Do you have a, a pick of the winner, Broncos or Panthers today? Oh, wow, that is hard, hard, <laughs> hard, especially since I don't know anything about their either teams. But I'm going to go for Broncos. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> I'm with you, Gavin. All right, sir, thank you so much.